When you're delivering a course, you're telling a story. Topics build upon one another, leading to a final outcome or takeaway for the learner. As a teacher or learning instructor, sometimes you have to slow down or speed up the process to maintain engagement or promote retention. Dripping your course content allows you to tell a better story to your learners. In this video, we'll take a look at drip course content and why you might want to use it in delivering your course to your students. So, what does it mean to drip course content? When we talk about drip or drip feeding content to students, we mean creating content that becomes available to students only after a set amount of time, usually a number of days since they have enrolled in the online course. Instead of allowing students to access all of your course content as soon as they purchase your online course, with drip, lessons or topics become available to them only after a set amount of days that you can customize. For example, if you want your students to receive a new lesson every day from the moment they sign up for your course, you can set a drip of zero days for your first lesson, the first day for the second lesson, two days for the third lesson, and so on. Let's explore a bit more about why drip content might be the best way to deliver your online course. So, what is the difference between on-demand and drip courses? On-demand learning means that all of your course content is available immediately. Learners don't have to wait for a new content and they can skip around to any lesson or topic they'd like. It's a bit like going to a class and having all of your homework assignments handed out to you right as you arrive. While on-demand content allows learners to see all of the material at once, it's not always a preferred learning style. For some students, the sheer amount of work looming ahead can cause learner paralysis and may even demote learners. Rather than allowing access to all content at once, a drip schedule is set up so that the course content is made available gradually over a period of time. For many people, this is a preferred learning experience. Let's take a look at a few reasons why you may want to use drip feeding. Boosting engagement levels. By releasing new content after a set number of days, students will feel more motivated to go back to your course and access the fresh content, helping you to keep your customers engaged over time. Create a better learning experience. Drip feeding content helps your students follow a structured path of lessons that guides them through their learning process and makes sure that they are consuming the content at an ideal pace. Breaking down complex topics. If your topic is very long and complex, drip feeding your course can help students digest the lessons without feeling overwhelmed with information. Increase completion rate and student retention. Since students are regularly given access to new content, drip feeding can help you motivate them to keep coming back to your site and consume the new lesson or module. Structuring content for students. Dripping content ensures that students engage with all of your course content rather than skipping ahead to the lessons they are interested in. This helps you guide them through the learning process and ensures that students assimilate all of your valuable teachings. Membership. If you are running a membership website or a subscription-based course, drip feeding content is a great way to structure your program since it helps you to divide your content and slowly release it to your members, increasing the value of your membership and justifying the monthly price. Preventing fraudulent refund requests. Drip-fed content helps you to reduce the issue of refund abusers. Since students can't access all the course content immediately after purchase, there is a less risk of them accessing it all before they ask for their money back. Here are some of the reasons that you may not want to use drip feeding. There may be some courses that students want to complete quickly. The topic of your online course can play a role in helping you decide whether to drip feed your content or not. If your online course teaches a topic that students can consume quickly, or maybe they want to reach the end result as soon as possible, drip feeding content might not be the best idea as it forces students to adhere to your own schedule. In some cases, they are larger and more general courses. Another case scenario where you might want to think twice before applying a drip is with larger courses that contain a wide variety of topics and content. If you have a course or membership like this, students might want to have the freedom to skip ahead to the modules or the lessons that they're interested in. So now that we looked at the reasons, let's talk about how we can do this with our course platform. Drip content can be complex, but a tool like LearnDash can help. We're happy to share that LearnDash's 4.2 update added drip content support for all of your content. With this latest update, not only can you drip entire lessons, but you can also drip topics and quizzes with specific lessons as well. Let's dive into LearnDash. Firstly, you're going to want to ensure that you've created your course with the accompanying lessons and topics. You can take a look at our video on this channel for more details on how to create a course. 
once your course is created, we can start scheduling our lesson. Simply navigate to Learn-LMS, head over to Lessons, then click on the lesson you want to schedule first. Click on the Settings tab at the top of the page, locate the section titled Lesson Access Settings. The lesson schedule allows you to make a lesson available at a specific time. A lesson can become available immediately or at some point in the future. You have the following options. Immediately, which is set at default. The lesson is made available as soon as the user is enrolled in the course. Enrollment based. The lesson will be available X days after the user enrolls in the course. Specific date. The lesson will be available on a specific date. These options also apply to the topics below these lessons. If a topic is associated with a lesson, and that lesson is scheduled to be available at a certain date, the topics will also be available at that time. If a topic is not associated with that lesson, you can set the topic release schedule for that topic separately. We've set this lesson to be scheduled one day after course enrollment. Click on Save Changes, and then we can head to the next lesson. Topic access settings can be done in a similar manner. Head over to Topics. Click on the topic you want to edit. Click on the Settings tab. Locate the section titled Topics Access Settings. You will be presented with the options to provide access immediately on a specific date or based on enrollment date. Once you have your course topics and lessons scheduled, you can start offering your program in confidence. Hey you, yes you, thank you for watching. We've come to the end of the video. If you're ready to experiment with drip feeding your course content, then I'd love to invite you to try out a free demo to take us for a test drive. I'll leave a link below in the description. Whether you need a simple way to create a course website from scratch, or you're looking to create a course on your existing WordPress website, LearnDash has a solution for every course and every course creator. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to be the first to see our latest tips, tricks, and tutorials. We can't wait to see what you create next.